Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Beard Bites and today we're going to be looking at the contents of the CIQ-KIT, the Cable IQ Qualification Tester from Fluke. Now I was going to do an entire unboxing, but lo and behold I pulled this thing out of the Amazon box and it was basically unboxed. There was nothing to do except for unzip it, which by the way, it comes in a very nice soft shell case that still feels like it's going to provide more than adequate protection and it has these handles that actually push into one another uh, creating just one secure feeling handle now when opening up the case itself you can see that it's laid out quite nicely and there's lots of space involved uh, as far as cables go you get a coax cable a USB cable Not one, but two shielded RJ45 Cat5e cables. Looks like an RJ11 and an RJ45 patch cord. Pretty nice thing to have. You get a cool string to keep your fluke from falling. And when I initially opened up this case, I did not think that it had a battery in it. So I'm pretty happy that I found this battery, which is for the Intellitone probe, not for the cable IQ. The cable IQ runs off of four AA batteries and it just so happened to have them in there already. So I'm convinced that this may be a, may be a resell of a used case, but who knows? You have this sweet, turn your investment into gold. What this is, is they're trying to convince you to get Fluke Gold support. So you're actually turning your purchase into gold for them. So unless you really need this, I'm just going to shuffle this to the side. There's a whole bunch of other mumbo jumbo documents in here of, you know, safety regulations and all that jazz. But that's for you to read, not for me to tell you about. You get the quick start guide, which is fairly dense, but, you know, it's in multiple languages and yada, yada, yada. So, um... It's not as bad as it you think. You get this awesome software, which I don't know if you can see, but it's going to be kind of hard. I don't know if I can make this happen. If not, either way, it says revision seven from August 2010. Yes. Thank you for the six year old disc fluke. Thank you. Because I'm sure it's going to work without any problems on Windows 10. Now you get this sweet roll-up bag from Fluke. Opening this up, you see that it is made in China. You get this really awesome RJ45 universal adapter. And opening it up further, you see that you actually also get these really cool cable iq remote ids and i believe they're labeled one through seven or two through seven sorry because yes right here seven because on here the wire mapper that comes attached to your cable iq device has the this is one which let's get into this device actually so wire mapper Cable IQ. Now, unlike their meters, this is made in China, not not in America or the U.S., um, which is kind of unfortunate. But however, like Dave from the EEV blog does, I'm going to just sit here and yank on this a bit and, you know, talk about how sure it feels because it feels fantastic. It doesn't really feel any less quality than my Fluke 87 multimeter does or any other Fluke products that I've used in the past. You also have the Intellitone 200 probe, the Intellitone Pro. This is digital. It makes for very easy finding of cables and quick testing of cables, making sure that, you know, you don't have any continuity issues. 
But other than that, that's everything in this case. Now I am going to be uploading a much more in-depth tutorial of how to use this device because I have some experience with it. And you know, I was looking up videos of this and they're terrible, 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 terrible. Nobody actually really tells you anything. And you try to go to fluke and you're like, oh yes, a fluke video. And you just get stuck with a guy who bangs it on the table and says how he's still testing, which is congratulations. That's, that's cool. Glad you're still testing. Thumbs up, bro. Um, either way, thank you for watching this video and I will get that other tutorial up here very soon. I have some jobs coming up and I'll try to do some on, on, on the job filming. Sorry, I can't speak right now on the job filming for uh, doing the tutorial because I think it would be best if you see it in action out in the field as opposed to a nice controlled environment. And hopefully we can have some errors. I, it's kind of strange to say on the job you want to find errors, but hopefully we can find some errors to show you that. If not, then I will set up some faults that you can check out. Either way, thank you for tuning in for this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.